morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Check one, check two, check three, check four. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh man, all right. Let me go. Man, uniform, uniform, uniform. Man, y'all wouldn't even believe that I was trying to start on time, but I had to reboot my computer. I mean, this shit is, it's getting old, man. I'm trying, man. I got to, so I got to get up at 4.30 to start gearing up the goddamn computer, man. Shit, I feel like, feel like we back in the old days where I got a, 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 a like, like a fireplace that I got to put logs on and it take time to start the fire. Computers shouldn't be like that, but they are. So, let's get this started. First off, I need to let y'all know, welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty. This is Yami Journey Media. <laughs> oh, man, good morning to you as well, Miss Anna Mae. You know what I'm saying? You sound good. She sounded good this morning. Shouts out to Miss CeeLo. I see you up with us nice and early. Um, this is the heart of a some production. And of course, you know, this is the Daily Toast and great Ujima to each and every last one of y'all. What's up, Brother, Qu um, brother Kwame? You know we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Yeah, just like dial up. So let me go take my let me take my experimental drugs. This is that bentonite. Bentonite. B-E-N-T. I ain't got to spell it. Well, I guess for Spreaker I gotta spell it. B E N T O N I T E, Bentonite. Shouts out to Patara. Ra. How you doing this morning, my brother? All right. Got the shirts in last night, family. I mean yesterday. So now I'm waiting for the print, um, and we will start production hopefully this week, and I will be able to fulfill all the orders by next week. Ooh. -hoo. The pink, the pink shirts came in too, CeeLo. Got your pink shirt. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So we will have a few in pink. CeeLo get hers four first. So now we got about four left. Until my daughter, to my daughter, Seal. Ah, man. All right. I don't want no more of that. Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. I don't want no more of that. All right. So... We, of course, once again, we're toasting with the chlor, chlor oxygen, because right now, like I said, I'm about to put my stuff into, uh, about to put that brew together. The tea is brewing, so right now, I got to sample it before I go off to my adventure this morning. And when I come back tonight, I will be creating a batch, another batch of that ambrosia. Mm, maybe, maybe I have... Well, I got nine pounds. Well, I got about eight and a half pounds of honey. So that means I possibly could do, I could do some gallons of, I could do almost, possibly eight gallons, possibly seven and a half gallons of ambrosia. Of course, Kwame, yours is at the top of the list, my friend, because you have already ordered it. And um, you already know you got $5 off. So we up. And we about to get started, so grab your water, grab your glass, and let's get it. Oh, your body drink some water. 
Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now raise your glass. Drink, raise, drink, raise. Facebook is changing the way the third-party platform interacts. Y'all told me that with Facebook groups and pages. By August 1st, you will need to reauthenticate your Facebook group in Hootsuite. In, Hootsuite. in addition, you will no longer be able to target organic Facebook page posts based on gender and language. Want to reauthenticate? Click here. Oh, my God. Why me? Why me? Early in the morning, I'm just re-authenticating. I feel like I'm re-authenticating all the damn time. I'm authentic. Okay? Shit. All right. If I'm re-authenticated, bring my goddamn pages up. Excuse me. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Just crying. I'm just crying. Don't worry about me. I'm just crying. All right. Um. Here we go, family. So... I posted up a video last night. I was trying to think about the uh, process. And I think I still don't have the words. But it's basically the scapegoat process. But there's a whole process there. And I put a video up um, um, on as from a, a YouTube station or YouTube channel called Vsauce2. And it's a white boy on there. He got banned across his forehead. Check that video out. I would play it if we had time. I don't think we got the time. I want go and get that three miles in. See, low congratulations. Keep up, keep up the excellent work. But this is a dope video because he talk about the whole scapegoating process, which I was talking about last night a little bit. But it's important that we look at this because not only does this activate on from the outside communities dealing with our community, it also it, it also is a process that happens within our community. If we become conscious of it. We will understand what start to happen when our groups start to disintegrate. There is an actual process for this, right? This whole scapegoat thing is 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 a is, is is a serious issue that we need to deal with. Why? Because once again, it 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 uh it it misdirects energy, right? And when you know the process and you understand the process and we got a group of individuals that's able to guide the process because we're going to go through it. But when you have people that's conscious of it, it's, it's one thing to go through it unconsciously. It's another thing to go through the conscious movements. Like, for example, let me give you an example. Um, I, I worked with a guy by the name of Leroy Thornton. Leroy Thornton coached uh, track. And me and he were sitting down talking you know, and he was telling me about track practice and the different exercises they they did and why they did them. Because, you know, my question was, dude, running is natural. You know, why practice? You know what I'm saying? He said, you practice so you get better. I said, you know, and he says techniques to run. I said, it's techniques to running. He said, yeah, there's ways that you can get, you can shave off a, a second or a half a second in, in how you run. Like, for example, your turnover rate. You know what I'm saying? I think we was talking about the um, Jamaican runner. He was telling me his turnover rate is, is incredible. I'm like, what do you mean his turnover rate? So he was able to break down the science of running. And if you understand the science of something, is a lot. It, it, you have more power than somebody who's just basing it on natural movement. It's like, you know, it's like wrestling. There's techniques to wrestling. Wrestling is a nat natural thing for boys. But a young man that get out there that knows what he's doing, that's been practicing moves and practicing techniques is always going to be better. So what happens when we start looking at some cultural techniques that have been analyzed and have been isolated and have been experimented with and start using them in rebuilding our culture? Like this scapegoat shit. The scapegoat relieves the pressure within the community. Right? But, now this is what's crazy. And you have to watch the video and you have to go and do your own research. The scapegoating process comes from people copying other people. 
just like culture is a conglomeration of people uh, you copy your culture it ain't like you agree to be part of this shit you copy that's the that's the, this is why in general we talk about three levels of learning and we have to understand that 85 percent of our family 85 percent of us 85 percent are just basically dealing with the lowest level of learning memorization that's it they they getting by through memorization they memorize the rules of the culture they memorize the rules of, of, of the environment the rules of living and that's it they are not able to to extrapolate on that shit you know what i'm saying that's the first level of learning memorization copying that's how and most most people live their lives then you got 10 percent out of the out of the 100 percent that gone and are able to do intelligence of the mind they're able to think a little bit deeper about what's going on right you know and then you got the last five percent right the last yeah about five percent about five percent of those right that's left in the world and they're the ones that go to move it to the intelligence of the heart these are the masters which one you trying to be with which one you try where you trying to be you know what i'm saying um so now I got that video up there. I want y'all to check that out. Um, also, this morning in my perusing, we found some news about the pyramids. Physicists make incredible new discovery about the Great Pyramid of Giza. Go and check that out. That was about four hours ago. Um, USA Today reported. Oh, uh, that that article about the Giza is uh, Pyramid of Giza is in Newsweek. That's on our timeline. Like I said, I'm trying. I'm serious about getting this newsletter started. You know what I'm saying? I just, like I said, I need help. I don't want to have to do the whole goddamn thing myself. I will, but I don't want don't want to have to. USA Today, stand your ground has become a get out of jail free license to kill. Mm. Mm. What do y'all think about that? Let's go and have a discussion. Let's pop it off. Get the discussion popping off. You know, some of these. You know, like I said, comment. Let's see what we got. Seven reasons. Facial recognition software should be a concern for black America. Big Brother is watching and more than likely profiling you. You know what I'm saying? So now profiling is about to go to a whole nother level with this uh, facial recognition shit. And then on top of that, the facial recognition is not good for dark feet, for, for dark skin. Melanated skin is not good at all. So they're going to be mixing. they just going to go to the default and start arresting ad people. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to be careful. We need to be careful about that, especially with this new technology. Like those of y'all that have your phone, go and do the, um, try the phone with the with the face recognition. Watch how, many, watch how long it takes it to, to get your ass, right? Why? You know what I'm saying? Because that technology is not designed to pick you up. Which could be kind of good when the robots rise and start destroying people and shit. Just saying. All right. Um, and this one right here says U.S. law has long put families asunder, including mine. Um, this is from the Baltimore Sun. And this is an article that um, I was like, damn, I'm glad somebody finally wrote it. I mean, we had some, I, I heard people talking about it, but, you know, uh, people up in arms about um, the government separating families and shit. And many of us, we already know this shit's been going on for a very long time. It's just, they just now started crying about the shit. They've been doing this shit for the black families for the last 400 years. And I know a lot of y'all say, well, slavery been over for a long time, brother. Hot damn. They ain't been separating families. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just drink my water on that one. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, we got we got a lot of people in denial. And like I said, family, we can no longer allow. We can no longer allow people to be around us. We can no longer allow people to be near us. We can no longer allow people to be in our circle who just can't see certain shit. Nigga, you can't see. Go find you another. Go find somewhere else to be. You know what I'm saying? Go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Everybody had the right to think of how they want to think over there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, really. 
know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be coming up to you like, yo, 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 I can say what I want to say. Yeah, over there, get the fuck up out my residence. You don't get the right to say what the fuck you want to say in my residence. I'm all, I mean, or, you know what I'm saying? Or, or in, 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 in our space where we having our meetings, people just come in, 400 people sick from eating Chipotle. Ooh, goddamn. Ooh, the runs. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a camp of Mojo that's in, um, that I got up in here. Learn history from an uh, African-American perspective. You know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday, uh, Mars was closer than it has been to the Earth since like 1983 or something like that. And it ain't going to be this close again for 269 years. So if you missed it yesterday... You might be able to catch a little glimpse of it today, but it ain't going to be the same. It ain't going to be the same. You missed it. You blew it. You had a chance to look up and see Mars closer than it had been within about 35 million miles. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know what I'm saying? On Which in astronomical terms is, is pretty significant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's crazy, right? This, that's crazy. You know, you know Cosmically, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a significant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, but you know, on our level, it's like, eh. you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? It's like those these moments, like these are discussion points for between us and our young people, right? You know, you know, taking a child out and being like, look, this is the closest Mars is gonna be in for 269 years. This means that your great grandkids. Next time Mars is going to be, boom, it's a discussion piece. You know what I'm saying? The stars and, and, and sitting around fires and doing camping trips and, and stuff like that. And, and you, know, I, you know, I always bring it to the camps and shit. It's an opportunity to, to promote discussion between generations, right? Which is which was what we really need. Shouts out to Mr. Navita. I see you out there. Uh, uh-oh. South Africa um, had vows to push on land reform. They, they taking land. In South Africa, to take a land in South Africa, and without without repaying a motherfucker, like look, we just give, give me that shit. You, your people stole it any goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Crying, crying and shit. I had to take a drink of water on that shit, and there, boy. Um. All right, so you know, but you know, like Michael Mix said, chicken coming home to roost. I'm, um, you know. I ain't a farm boy, but chicken home come chicken coming home to roost never made me sad. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they always come back, always reciprocity is a motherfucker boy. They always come back, and you know so you have to be careful what you do because sometimes it might miss you, but it's gonna hit you. It might hit you. it's gonna hit your children and what's even messed up more messed up. It's gonna hit your grandchildren and they ain't gonna even understand because you did some fucked up shit. So now we got we got the grandparents and great we got grandchildren and the great grandchildren motherfuckers who did fucked up shit, and it's coming back to hit them. It's gonna do the same thing in America right now, and I want family really we really need to look. I mean because right now um there was a study that came out uh, a few days ago. I mean it's been they, these type of studies been coming out, but they talk about the dis. Disparity, the growing wealth gap in America, the growing wealth gap in America, and if you really look at how much the wealth gap is growing in America compared to other countries, right, it's ridiculous, these motherfuckers is robbing, they robbing, robbing, you know what I'm saying, they robbing the robbers, robbing the robbers, robbers, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's getting ridiculous, and the wealth is, is being calcified and is leaving very little money out here. Very few resources for other people. And, it, you know, like I said, reciprocity is coming back. And I'm just I'm just letting y'all know we need to go on and, 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 and try to buck. All right. For those that missed the story last night, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Read it for you. So you going to think about it. If you have any comments about it, please post them up. Two soldiers traveling together were set upon by a robber. One of the one of the soldiers fled. The other stood his ground and defended himself with his strong right hand. The robber being slain. The timid companion ran up and drew his sword and then throwing back his traveling coat said, 
I'll let him, let me at him. I'll take care of him and show him who he has attacked. On this, he, the one that had fought the robber, said, I only wish that you had helped me just now, even if it had been only with those words, for I should have been the more encouraged, believing them to be true. But now, put up your sword in the sheath and hold your equally useless tongue till you can deceive others who do not know you. I, indeed, who have experienced what with what speed you run away, know right well that no dependence can be placed on your valor. Damn. Damn. Family. Family. The name of that, share that, share that. Share, you know, I might need, I'm, I'm going to go and find this one. I think I'm going to post this up. The two soldiers and a robber. You know what I'm saying? Share that proverb. Share, share that folktale. Because there's a lot of wisdom in that folktale. Especially for our community. Some of these cowardly lions we got running around this motherfucker, right? You know what I'm saying? They bowed all the way up until the real lions come up in this motherfucker, right? Until the hyenas come run up in this motherfucker. We got lions up until the hyenas run up in this motherfucker. And then they turn into like, I don't pigeons and shit and fly away, right? But all right, family. So let's get this toast on. I'm going to finish this water real quick. You know, make sure you drink your water. You know what I'm saying? Try to get try to get half your weight in ounces in water per day. Not not during in the city. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Man. All right, so y'all y'all heard you see brother Pata saying 400 people sick from eating Chipotle in um Powell, Ohio. So I guess that's one place some of us won't be going for lunch, right? Shit. 400 Damn Chipotle's in trouble Alright so y'all see I'm putting the chlor in here We're only going to use one, one little teaspoon for this morning I don't want to jinx myself But I don't remember dozing off yesterday I'm just being honest. So let me go and give me another, another, another cap full. Because I really don't remember falling asleep yesterday. Or even struggling with it. Let me put a little bit more in there. I ain't gonna say I got a coffee replacement, but shit. that good but first call on the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator we lift up our glass and we salute and we say our shame me and family move to the stars of the show and that is our ancestors so we pull out the ancestors ancestor list and the ancestor book and we start off Miles Brown Miss Ann Robin and Texan David Herman Brown Senior Rosalie Tilly George and William Walter Chris Penn and Gaston Aunt Lena Uncle Chris Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown Margaret Ellis Watch Ellis Cecil Ellis Avar Brown Gina Gaines Herman Brown the Second Barbara Twigs Watch Ellis Junior Katie Ellis Nikki Ellis Jamon Jones Jeremiah Tappan John Fuller Montague Pittman L Normal X Pat My Rob Malika Fakur Doctor Marianne Williams Kojo Kamal Elder Farmer Elder Miller Dixon Tony Clark Pastor Yusuf Weston Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Bro, Pro Actor Jr., Jay Atwich, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulliam, the Luxter Brothers, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lawrence Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trey, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rinderman, 
Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Sproutling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dill Hines, Melvin Dill Hines Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, Agosa Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Deolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pro G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Brooker T. Bolden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sergian Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, and Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S. E. Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Lavester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey Ellen Ohio, Frank Russell and David, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Bina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. From the Pretty Book. We have Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javea McCormick, Nevea Mitchell, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Haran Phillips, William Ford Jr., Margaret, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Mirel Ellis, Elizabeth Battles, Jeanette Saunders, Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Baba Naeem, Tim Butler, Ramey Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., John Dewey and Ruth Beard, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Bat Vaughn, Lud Oz, Elijah Oz, Rome Oz, Henry West Statton, Joe Jamel Oz, Miss Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erlerton Houston, Albert Moore, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Vivian Stevenson, Lily Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie, Char Maddie and Charlie Scott, Dorita Ross, Viola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Lester and Richard Saunders, John Bowie, Alex Nixon, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edward Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harry Tubman Case, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Ozzy Hatch, Dan Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Aunt Becker, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Crochet, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg, G2 Gibson, Emma McClendon, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Bruce Jefferson, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Hazel Gadsden, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Jennifer Sensabaugh, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Gene Holmes, Anna Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Isa Catney, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Phyllis Lee, Defreitas Hines, Ines Bostic, and the Bostic winner, Freed Scantleberry. 
We lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Shouts out to you, Ms. Dion Watson. I see you out there. All right, from there, family, um, we move to the present moment. Um, today is Ujima, learn the language. That's that word means collect the work and responsibility. Um, the modern principle of the day is righteousness. Um, the M7 is respect. The color is blue. Vibration is the hermetic law. If you was born on this day, the male name is Kwaku. If you was born on this day, female, it's Akua. All right. Um, from the emotional emancipation circle, African Center Cultural Virtue and Value System. In Warlock today, we have Yar, which is politeness and respect. Politeness and respect, particularly towards your elders. That's Jar and Warlock. And the Khan is obedience and respect. And in traditional Yoruba is a Luti, teachability. All right? In this moment, family, you got plenty of things you can focus on. Key, key word of the day is Ujima, right? That's the day, Ujima, right? We're focusing our energy on that. We're building. We're moving towards working together and stuff like that in this moment so that we can make sure we lay in the foundation so that our that our children and our future generations have something to stand upon. So we lift up our glass. We say Ashe. We toast our children, our children's children onto infinity. Guess what? We say Ashe. From there, family, we salute all of our relations. We lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Um, oh. Don't forget to promote African Arts Festival and Most Honorable Marcus Garvey Celebration. That's right. I forgot about the art. We got the African Arts Festival that will be popping off on August. I need to get my calendar up. And I've been sending out the flyer. Man, I'm ashamed. All right. But hey, it's a busy, busy dude. Um, so here we go. We have, we are in August right now. Okay. So we have on the 18th, August the 18th, we have the African Arts Festival that will be going down. Right? It will be going down. It's on the 18th, family. So I want y'all to be ready. Come out. Bring your dough so you can support those vendors. Come out. Have a good time. Um, uh, okay. Uh, oh, my fault. I see you, Pitara. Um, Edward R. Benson Sr. I'm adding it to the list right now, sir. I got to find a pen. My kids be moving my damn pens. My goodness. All right. So um, the uh, the festival, the African Art Festival, will be on the 18th, and then we will be having the Marcus Garvey celebration on the 25th. All right. So, um, like I said, I'll be getting more information. We gotta get flyers and stuff together. Um, the flyer has been going out. I have sent the flyer out um, for the African Arts Festival, so that will be going out. Actually, I think it'll be going out this morning. All right, so, um, and we're looking for vendors. Vendors, um, uh, a number will be sent around on the black signal, letting people know um, that if you want a van, a number is coming out um, on the Marcus Garvey. Uh, we have, I haven't discussed that yet, but I think we will be having some space for vendors. But the Marcus Garvey celebration will be at the uh, at the Black Extension Center, Black Studies Extension Center on uh, Mount Vernon, um, 12 to 3 on the 25th, okay? We're going to have, be having um, a speaker from the UNIA coming in. So, all right, we got it. We've we got it popping off, family. So now, let me find this pen so I can get Brother Eddie's ancestor on the list. And we'll continue with the libations. Let's see. Brother Patan. Ra. 
and we got Edward Benson Edward R. Benson Senior Alright, so we got a new member of the list Family is growing Alright, so we lift up our glass And we say our shade From their family, from, from saluting um, The future generations We move to all of our relations We say our shade From their family, this is where Because we're calling all of our ancestors up in here We know that they're here We know that our, the creator's here All that power right now that we are calling up Family What do you need? It's that selfish libation. What do you need? Take that moment. Hurry up because this glass is heavy. Because it's a big glass. I'm serious. My arms is burning right now. So go on. Get it in. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, universe requires an exchange. This is why I'm constantly telling people, hey, man, I'm not looking for you to volunteer. Let's exchange. You know what I'm saying? Let's exchange. You give me something, I give you something, right? So, I say, from their family, I salute the most powerful being in the room. You know who that is? That's you. Each and every last one of you for taking the time to salute your ancestors, for joining and coming together because this family is growing. Last night, man, from last night, we had a lot of people online, a lot of people using the app, a lot of people on Spreaker. People coming in and we had, we had a real good conversation last night. So family, I want to thank you. I salute you. And we say Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years. And family, forgot. On the 10th. And possibly the 11th, we will be having a training. Brother Wakesa will be here. Brother Wakesa will be in the house. So I'm going to be talking to them soon. And uh, I think sometime, maybe even this weekend, I may be able to get him on so that we could do an interview about what he's going to be coming to talk about. So family, I'm talking about getting us a tune, getting us an emotional, getting us an emotional language. So we could communicate our feelings to each other. I ain't talking about just the, the touchy feely stuff and being able to cry together, but being able to express what the what we're feeling, putting them in words, so that we could be very clear when we're dealing with each other, so that we can have healthy relationships, so that we can have healthy healthy organizations, because we're able to communicate and we can say things like "I'm mad" and really understand what that means. I, I'm I'm sad and really understand what that mean and, and be able to know what to ask for. You know what I'm saying? And, or, or I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? And being able to say that and, and really have an understanding and be able to distinguish between these these emotional states so that we can go and move and grow together and be honest and open with each other so that, you know, I know that you got my back. You know that I got my back because we can understand each other. I understand what the fuck you feeling. Right, I don't have to guess. See, that be our problem. We, we, you know, what I'm saying we don't, because we got to understand that part of cut, part of our culture was being able to communicate these things, but we, 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 we lost that language, right? And it, and it, and it, and it benefits. It benefits the rest of the world for us not to be able to communicate what's going on inside of us, because they can interpret it and charge us for interpreting it. So, wish you peace, power, joy, 100 years. This is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out. Peace. You have a great day. Oh, remember the t-shirts. I'm out. All right, family. I'm out. All right, speaker. We out.